The human stomach is not a passive storage organ. It is a regulated biochemical reactor engineered to destroy, denature, signal and control. Structurally, the stomach is composed of three layers of smooth muscle arranged longitudinally, circularly and obliquely. This unique arrangement allows the stomach not only to move food forward, but to grind and shear it, reducing solid meals into a semi-liquid mixture called chyme. This mechanical processing is inseparable from chemistry. Within the gastric glands, parietal cells actively secrete hydrochloric acid. They do this using the hydrogen-potassium ATPase proton pump, one of the most energy-intensive transport systems in the body. This pump concentrates hydrogen ions against an extreme gradient, lowering gastric pH to around 1 to 2. At this acidity, dietary proteins begin to unfold, exposing peptide bonds. Most ingested bacteria are destroyed. Iron and calcium become more bioavailable. Acid secretion is not constant. It is tightly regulated by neural, hormonal and paracrine signals. The vagus nerve stimulates acid release in anticipation of food. Gastrin, released from G-cells, amplifies secretion when protein enters the stomach. Histamine, released locally, acts as a powerful final amplifier. Block one signal, acid falls. Block all three, digestion collapses. At the same time, chief cells release pepsinogen. In acidic conditions, pepsinogen converts into pepsin, an endopeptidase that cleaves large proteins into smaller peptides. This step is essential. Without gastric protein breakdown, pancreatic enzymes downstream become inefficient. Despite this corrosive environment, the stomach survives. Its surface is coated by a mucous bicarbonate barrier secreted by epithelial cells. This barrier creates a sharp pH gradient, keeping the cell surface near neutral while the lumen remains acidic. When acid overwhelms this barrier, ulcers form. When blood supply is compromised, tissue necrosis follows. The stomach is also a sensory organ. Stretch receptors detect volume. Chemoreceptors detect acidity and nutrient content. These signals regulate motility and determine the rate of gastric emptying. The pyloric sphincter releases chyme into the small intestine in carefully timed pulses. This prevents osmotic overload and ensures proper enzymatic digestion downstream. Endocrine signaling adds another layer. The stomach secretes hormones that influence appetite, satiety, and energy balance. It also produces intrinsic factor, without which vitamin B12 absorption fails, leading to anemia and neurological damage. When the stomach fails, the consequences extend far beyond digestion. Pathogens survive. Proteins remain intact. Micronutrient absorption declines. Hormonal signaling breaks down. The stomach is not where digestion ends. It is where digestion becomes possible, where danger is neutralized, and where timing is enforced. It is a chamber of force, acid, and control, and every meal depends on its precision.